Hey, Travis, this is David Hood with uh, TigerNet. Just the, the 199 weight that you showed up at, was that kind of a, a target for you? Did you want to be a little bit leaner this year? Or, you know, where do you want to play? And, and you know, what was the reasoning behind that, that, that 199? Uh, just getting back to where I feel uh, most comfortable being able to be explosive, but fast as well. And just, uh, just getting back to my normal self where I feel that like I'm the best on the field where I'm able to just run freely and just be able to just play the game within the game and not not be focused on too many outside factors and just be able to be able to go out there and play free. Travis, this is Matt with the state. This what I know Tra uh, Trevor was saying he kind of had a decision to make and was trying to decide what to do. What was that process like for you? And, and I guess, where do things stand for you right now? Uh, for me, it was just easy just uh, going back home and just uh, just seeing my nieces and my little brother, just them play sports and just seeing how pure the game was. And and just like the reason why we get into sports is remember why I started playing football and why I fell in love with the game and just getting back to that and just seeing my brothers just out here grinding and it just forced me to want to get better, grind with them, and just just be the best player I can be. Hey, Travis, this is Grace from The Athletic. Just as a follow-up, um, is there any possibility your decision could change, or do you feel like you 100% opted in at this point? At this point, I'm 100% opted in. I mean, I'm here with my brothers every day. We're taking it one day at a time. That's all we can focus on right now. And so every day we wake up, we're all in. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. We're not. We're done trying to figure out what's going to happen tomorrow. So every time we step on this field, we're all in. That, yeah, that was kind of my next question: Is do you anticipate maybe having to reevaluate if the season does get moved to the spring? Uh, we're, well, not really focused on that right now. I'm just uh, here, fully immersed in, in this team and us building, us growing, and us becoming a brotherhood, being in tune with each each other each and every day. So we're not even focused on the spring because we're here enjoying the time we check there every day. So like, we're not even worried about the spring. Hey, Travis, David Hale with ESPN. Um, first off, uh, congrats on avoiding the Popeyes and all the other stuff uh, during this. I, I'm, I'm impressed by the 199. You have a lot more um, willpower than I do. Uh, to follow up on, on Grace's question a little bit, you know, as a running back, that certainly, I mean, this is a position that, that you know, take some hits and, and there's wear and tear on your body. Could you imagine trying to play, you know, two seasons within a calendar year as some of the guys in the Big Ten or Pac-12 might? Is that, would, that, would that be a thing that you think is doable? Uh, well, well, here at Clemson, just with the staff, uh, you have the council and just the things that we have for prehab and rehab, just uh, out the practice, being able to take care of your body each and every day. So for us, we're really ahead of the game because we get done with practice, we go in there, get in a cryo, uh, get in a salt tub, massage ourselves and just things of that sort. So uh, we, 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 if anybody was able to do it, I feel like we would be able to do it because of the resource that we have around us and just how we take care of our bodies and just and, and just emerging ourselves and just know ourselves. Hey, Dad. Travis, some of your transformation, I mean, does it have to do with what you see at the next level from the way the NFL is using running backs now? Uh, uh, yeah, most definitely. Just uh, want to be an all-around player, be able to help the team any way that I can. So just just whenever my number is called, just uh, being ready, like, and, and not worrying about what the job is. Just being able to go out there and being able to do the job. Travis, how would you assess um, Demarcus and Kobe, those freshman running backs? Uh, Demarcus and Kobe, they are both great running backs. Uh, Demarcus really showed some explosive things today. Just uh, just him being young and just just coming in here and being able to grasp the knowledge and just be able to just be himself around everybody. And Kobe, a uh, bigger back, but he's very explosive, great back, great guy. They're just two great all-around guys, great backs. And I mean, uh, the, like it's, it's up to them to determine their future because they can go as far as they want to. Hey, Travis, it's Anna with Clemson 24-7. Just to clarify, do you think you'll play this season under 200? I will. See, my body my body weight, it fluctuates. Uh, so, uh, realistically, I'll probably be at, like, 206, 
uh, throughout the whole season. But uh, it doesn't matter for me because uh, 208 to 200, 199, I feel explosive. I feel fine. So it doesn't matter. Like if, if, if I'm under, if if I'm within the 210 to 200 range, I feel great, and it really doesn't bother me at all. Travis, you mentioned uh, going back home. Just sort of personally, what has this summer been like for 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 you, um, sort of off the field? Oh, well, just going back home and just uh, just seeing everything that's going on. Uh, this summer has been an eye opener for me. Just uh, really just had me just focusing on my gifts and honing on my skills and just uh, become the best man and player that I can be because I can't help anyone at home if I can't help myself first. And so just dialing into what I need to help myself to get better and just be the best back in the, the country. So just going home, see my brother work the way he do, just really made me want to grind so much more and just, it, it, it just let me tap into another level of myself and just be able to grind and want to get better each and every day. Hey Travis, it's uh, Josh from the Post and Courier. With, with you saying you're fully opted in now, at what point did you come to that decision and were there certain factors uh, that you were looking for that helped you make that, get to that point? Oh, well, no, I, I really been came to that conclusion. I was just, uh, just, just, just trying to focus on myself and just uh, <coughs> kind of just avoid the media and just really just hone in on myself and try to get better each and every day. For me, was developing life skills that I can routinely have each and every day. And that was just me getting away from social media, getting away from all that stuff and just kind of locking myself with them and my teammates and, and my immediate family. So were you just like totally off social media at one point this summer? What's up? So, so were you just totally off all social media at one point this summer? Uh, yeah, I, I was totally off all social media. Uh, just, 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 I was around my family, so I didn't, didn't, I didn't really need any social media. All the guys have my number, so when they call FaceTime, I answered, so it was no need for social media. Travis, you, uh, your decision to come back even before all of this, I think a lot of people were surprised by given your position and your success. If this season weren't to happen, would you have any regrets about making that decision or have you just made your peace with the results, whatever, whatever they may be? I know I, I wouldn't have any regrets because it was my decision to come back. And I definitely came back and, and got better. Uh, on the field, off the field, mentally, physically, spiritually. So it's, it's, there's no way I could ever regret the decision coming back because I've learned so much more coming back. And I was able to show my little brother and my family just so much more things in life than money and things of that sort. So uh, that's probably the best decision I could have made for myself at the time was coming back. And if the season doesn't happen, I'm still grateful that I came back. No looking back on the decision can't change it. So I just made the most out of it, whether we have a season or not. Travis, uh, Trevor Gross from CUTigers.com. Coach Sweeney was talking about how y'all are actually safer um, with the protocols that you have playing football and, and the environment you're in than you would be uh, out, out in society like everybody else. Do you feel that way? Do you feel safer in this environment? And as a leader on this team, how do you ensure that your teammates make good decisions and keep themselves state safe um, as the season potentially starts? I would just be fully immersed in, in, in themselves and the team and just keep the team goals in mind each and every day. So just waking up with the same habits again, getting better, just, uh, just practicing just similar things like washing your hands and just kind of like social distancing, wearing your mask, stuff like that. <coughs> so basically just, just, just having that clean, cleanliness feel of themselves and, and just keeping in mind the bigger picture. So you feel like you are actually are safer uh, than, than you would be if, if you didn't have a football like the Big Ten or Pac-12? I mean, I, I feel that we would be safe uh, with football, without football, just because of the life skills that we have and the way that we are able to go about life, uh, life things. So, I mean, like we, we don't need football to be clean. That's what you're trying to say. <laughs> Well, some some people some people said that because you have such you know monitorization and and protocols and um, you know uh, regular testing and so forth that um, if if there were no football that you would just be kind of cut loose like the rest of the student body. 
Uh, I mean, I, I don't know how to quite answer that, but I mean, just for us, uh, we're like, we're, we're, we're grateful that we have the opportunity to be able to get those tests and get those results and stuff like that. And it really is a, a blessing in disguise that we're able to have access to all those things. But I feel as if we didn't have those things, we would still carry ourselves uh, in a great way to where we wouldn't be risking our families and our, our livelihoods. Travis, I, I know you're very enthusiastic about, um, and probably rightfully so, about the, the protocols there at Clemson. You guys certainly do have access to um, the best of the best, but I don't know if you how much you've paid attention to at Florida State. Some players uh, offered some concerns about the health protocols there yesterday. Syracuse players sat out of practice amid some concerns about testing. Uh, uh, ostensibly, you guys will play a non-conference opponent at some point. Do you have worries about how other programs are handling this? that you might end up playing this year? I mean, uh, no, I, I feel that I, I can't really control all those things. So, and like, we, we can't really be focused on everyone else. We gotta focus on ourselves right now. And we gotta make sure we're taking the right precautions and protocols to keep ourselves healthy. And we can only wish and pray that uh, other schools are doing the same thing. Travis Lawton Swan, Clemson Sports Talk. Just uh, the guys up front, you know, four new faces on the offensive line. What have you seen so far from them? And is anybody really standing out right now? I mean, uh, everyone's doing great. Everyone just stepping into their positions. And I mean, uh, like, like Coach always say, we don't rebuild, we reload. And uh, just everybody focusing on their job, each and every person doing their job. And I mean, uh, we, we're just steady rolling. I mean, it's, nothing has changed but the, the names on the back of the jerseys. Uh, we still have one common goal. We still want to be the best, best of the best, best in the country. So we're still putting all that, all that effort and, and work that we always have done, uh, just with different guys. We'll take a couple more. Travis, how do you feel like you're a different player than you were last year? And what was your big focus this summer? Uh, my big focus this summer was just uh, become a pro at my position, just be able to teach my position, uh, being able to articulate the things that I see uh, within the field and being able to just talk to people about the game of football in a way that they understand and just that, just growing my knowledge of the game, my IQ of the game and being able to coach someone uh, no matter where they're at in their football career. Travis, Trevor said when we talked to him that, that you and him had a few conversations about, you know, how to handle this return to campus and opting out or not opting out and that kind of stuff. Doesn't sound like either of you were particularly close, but uh, to doing that, but I'm, I'm curious, what, what was your um, interaction with Trevor? How much did having him sort of in a similar situation to you uh, help you throughout that process? I helped me a lot, just uh, seeing him, the way he handled himself, uh, just, just how he able to keep his calm, his his poise, and just uh, just him being himself uh, has really helped me, just him not letting the game, I just take control over who he was, and just him having that, that, that mental capacity to be able to hone in on his crafts and know who he is as a football player and as a man. And that just really, really just helps everyone. So when you see somebody who's confident in themselves and uh, you're able to follow that and get behind that. We'll take one final one. Hey, Travis, one of the uh, Major League Baseball players said that, you know, he tried to impress upon his teammates that this is really a short season and you guys have to make the right decisions. and said that when he was on the road, he, he would just stay confined to his room. How are you guys as football players, when the students come back, going to protect yourselves? You know, do you feel like you have to change your lifestyle and, and maybe not have the true college experience? Or, or how do you guys talk among yourselves about this is how we're going to protect ourselves? Uh, well, see, that's a great question. Uh, just, just have to keep those – well, I mean – at the end of the day, we have to protect ourselves, and uh, we have to be locked in this season. I mean, it, it's, it's going to be a different year, different kind of experience. But this year, we're going to have to just just focus in on the team, the craft, and uh, just protect each other. Uh, we really can't be out here just trying to jeopardize what we want as a team. So uh, we're going to have to definitely take sacrifices for the team. And uh, at the end of the day, that's, that's how it's going to have to 